Hello, hello, crafty friends. <clears throat> Get this all set up here. Happy Monday. It's time for another Make It Monday Live. I am one minute early. We'll see how uh, everything goes when I pop on early. All right, gotta close out a few windows that pop open here. Hello, welcome. I see a few of you watching already. Thanks for watching. Um, as you pop on, please say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. Hey, Rhonda, how are you tonight? <clears throat> you guys, it is an absolutely beautiful, I'm gonna call it pre-spring day here in Wisconsin. Um, and I'm calling it pre-spring because uh, we always have this thing in Wisconsin where it's like beautiful, balmy 50 degrees out of nowhere. <clears throat> and then like a week later, we get dumped with two feet of snow. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Got a lot of you popping on here. Hello, Sharon, Cindy, Marsha, thanks for joining. Oh, I see Sharon and Cindy sharing the video. Thank you so much. Hey, Robin. Hey, Vicki. <clears throat> I so appreciate when you share my video. I am so incredibly passionate about helping you to be creative. And when you share my video, you help me spread that joy and that passion with your friends and your family and all sorts of people who get to see my video. And you totally make my day. Plus, you really help to support my small business because you help my Facebook technology algorithms and so I really really like that and I appreciate that so much from each and every one of you so thank you. I also love if you tell me where you're watching from in the comments because one of my very favorite things to do when I'm done is go through and I like to tell John hey look someone was watching me from I see North Carolina here in the comments and Rhode Island and that is just so cool I, I love to read those. So I love it when you tell me that. I have some prizes for you tonight. And we are going to be stamping with the adorable Springtime Joy stamp set. Super, super cute. I have got a fabulous fun fold for you guys tonight. And I'm going to kick it off right away, but I just have a couple announcements before we get started. Um, my prizes for my likes and comments are the two cards I made last week and then um, I totally forgot about my live not live card I'm giving that away as well so the likes and comments winner um, is going to get all three of these cards and I just want to remind each of you that the pretty paper here on these cards is part of the butterfly brilliance collection it made these big butterflies too part of the Butterfly Brilliance Collection, and um, that is going on right now, but the paper is only while supplies last, and I have got a class to go that when you order the collection from my online store, you're going to get to make eight cards, so you'll make two each of four designs. You'll make two of the cards that I featured last week, and, or, yeah, I think it was last week, my goodness, all my weeks are running together, plus two mystery cards. And you might remember also that um, these butterfly cards don't have any sentiments, but I use the sentiments from many messages. So I also have a many messages class to go going on right now, and that pre-order ends in one week. Um, and with this class, you get to make 10 cards, so you'll make two each of five designs and a bonus box to hold all these messages in. So um, you can order um, this class on my website, www.rosegrunewald.com, or just um, in the comments, if you want more info, just say, hey, message me or more info. I'd like to know more about that class, and I'll make sure to uh, get you more info as soon as I'm done. So. Let's do prizes and then get to stamping tonight. Oh my gosh, so many of you watching, welcome. I'm so happy to see so many of you here. It makes my heart really, really happy. 
Okay, so our three cards. This is for liking and commenting on the live, and our winner for that is Cindy Dotson. Cindy, I think I saw you pop on. Oh, there you are, Cindy. So congratulations, Cindy. You are the winner of these three cards. Now, Cindy, I don't have your address, so if you could shoot me an email at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com, or you can send me a private message on Facebook with your address, and I will get these in the mail to you tomorrow. And our next prize is for sharing. So when you share my video, you get entered to win a prize. And um, I don't know if you remember these cards that I made on a live. Um, right when celebration kicked off, I have one card kit left to make, um, I think, four of these cards. And the winner of that for sharing my video is Brenda Casillas. And Brenda, I need your address too. So if you could send me an email, countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com or a private message, I will get this in the mail to you tomorrow as well. Um, oh yes, I gave away a prize for ordering some time ago and I haven't been doing that anymore because instead I rolled out a VIP page where I am giving um, prizes away there like um, to my VIPs. So to get in on ordering prizes, it's really not going to be ordering prizes here on my lives. I'll just invite you to my VIP page when you order from my online store and I give away tons of prizes there. I like to spoil my VIPs. So, okay. I think we should get stamping. What do you say, huh? All right. Turning on my light. <clears throat> so, Tonight I am featuring the Springtime Joy stamp set. Easter's coming up and it feels like spring already here in Wisconsin. It was like 50 some degrees today. I'm gonna use some of our Stitch So Sweetly dies and the Tasteful Labels dies tonight too. And what I love about these dies is that they are super versatile. They go with like anything. They're a great way to dress up your cards. Um, so if you like a little something on your cards and um, you're looking for dies to use, these are absolutely perfect. And the other cool thing is that they both work in the baby boss. So you don't need the big um, emboss machine to use them. We're also going to be playing with the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. This is from the big catalog. And um, the second card I'm going to show you um, is using, you notice in my folder here, I've got all these pieces just kind of floating around. And I'm gonna show you um, a card that helps you to use all these pieces. Sometimes it's hard to know what to cut and making sure you have enough of the right size. So I'll give you some tips for that. We're gonna warm up with a little bit of simple stamping here. And you guys, I have to tell you, I am so darn prepared tonight. Oh my goodness. I am so prepared that I feel like I'm forgetting something because I'm too prepared. Does that ever happen to you? Oh my goodness. I just know something is going to be forgotten because I'm usually not this prepared. <laughs> okay. So our first card, we're using a beautiful spring color, so saffron. This is going to be our card base. Oh my goodness, so many of you are watching and saying hello. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy that you're here. I cannot say hi to you each individually because you're all scrolling through so fast, but thank you for watching. <sighs> okay, so this So Saffron piece, it's just a half a sheet of cardstock cut right in half. I don't know if you remember in elementary school, they talked to us about hamburger folds and hot dog folds. I feel like this is a hamburger cut and then you fold it in half. Um, so this is five and a half by eight and a half and you fold it at four and a quarter. And then I have got a piece of the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. Um, this piece is, let me think, four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic white for the inside, the same size, four by five and a quarter. And then a scrap of, so saffron and a scrap of petal pink. So I'm gonna do some die cutting first. Grab my baby boss here. 
And let's see here. Yeah. I don't know. This might be a little bit too wide. I'm going to cut this down. I grabbed a scrap that was just a little bit too wide. So let me check this three and a half. You have that sometimes. Uh, Sharon asks, where do you get your clear pockets? Oh, yes, I got mine on Amazon. I would be happy to share the, um, the link with you, Sharon, if you like when I'm done. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I'll just share with you um, the kind I use. And I think I get like, I don't remember how many I get in a package, but it works really, really good. And then I just keep them in like a 12 by 12 paper stand that's on top of a file cabinet here. One day I should show you guys how I have my stamp room organized. I'm kind of a sucker for organization and to be honest with you, I don't have a ton of space. So um, I see Jody's watching tonight. Jody's been in my room. She can kind of attest to, I don't have like fancy stuff. I just have like a bookshelf my grandpa made and an old dresser that my other grandpa kind of antiqued and um, I just make do with them <laughs> and use them but I have I get a lot of stuff in here because of how I organize it and I would be happy if you guys would love me to show you some organization tips okay I'm running this through the big shot or big shot the baby boss oh my gosh I can't believe I called it a big shot. It's like a Freudian slip. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually had someone tell me or comment that a friend of theirs was struggling a little bit to get the plates to go through on their mini stamp and cut and boss folder. So I just want to share with you a little tip. So these plates are numbered. So your, your um, white number one plate goes first, then you make a sandwich with your number two plates. So there's a two here and a two here. It does not really matter. You put one of them down, then you'll put your um, paper next, your die on top of that, and then your other plate on top of that. Um, what people are saying is, what is happening is some people are putting this through and they're having a hard time. Um, they're turning it. See how I'm turning this and like nothing's happening and they think that they're having a hard time getting this to go through or something's wrong with the sandwich. What I have learned is a trick is I kind of offset this top piece a little bit and what that does is pushes this end through and then watch it just grabs the next plate really easy and brings it through for you. So that is a little tip if you or someone you know has been using the Baby Boss and they're having a hard time getting those plates to fit through, I think that that tip will really help you out. <clears throat> okay, I've got my So Saffron piece Sharon says or I could come to her house and organize her room I helped Jody organize her room virtually so we um, like to stand together on the weekends and we do it over zoom I've made so many stamping friends it's like one of my favorite parts of being part of the Stampin' Up family and she asked me for help and ideas to organize some of her space. I hope you don't mind me sharing that, Jody. Um, and I did that and it was so much fun. So uh, maybe I could help you virtually, Sharon. Wouldn't that be fun? <clears throat> okay, so I've got my So Saffron die cut piece and I'm gonna do some stamping with this little baby chick. Isn't that adorable? <clears throat> so we got some springtime chicks, a lamb, a bunny, Easter basket, all the stuff I love. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm a font gal and I love these kind of handwriting looky, I don't know what these are called, script fonts, I just love them. <clears throat> but we're gonna use this little baby chick who kind of looks like he has a little bit of an attitude. Doesn't he just look like the boss of everybody? So, 
We are going to grab our So Saffron and I am going to do a little bit of, you know what? I don't have a nice clean one, but this is okay. Do a little bit of repeated stamping with our baby chick. With our baby chick with an attitude. If you guys have the stamp set, I'm telling you, look at that baby chick. He looks like he is the boss. And everyone is going to do what the baby chick wants to do. He's kind of like my cat, Borby. We always joke that Borby sits around like a boss. Cause he like sits around like the king of the castle, ruling his roost. And he looks so cute and he purrs and he looks like the boss. Hi, Julie, welcome. Sharon says that would be fun. Oh my gosh. You know, we should have an organization night on Zoom. And everybody just comes on and asks for tips and shows me what they have on hand. And I'll share with you what I would do to organize it if it were me. And I think that would be so much fun. All right. So we just stamped this bossy baby chick all over the place. That was easy, right? Um, and now I'm going to get out my twine from the snail mail twine combo pack. And um, I hope you guys got some of this stuff because I use it all the darn time. You might have noticed, I love this stuff. Um, and I think it's low inventory right now. So if you don't have it, you're probably gonna wanna get your hands on it because this stuff is awesome. I'm really glad that we got this kind of baker's twine back. It used to be called baker's twine and I love it and I missed it and it feels good to have it back. All right. I don't know if I cut this long enough. Usually I cut them too long. Now tonight I'm not sure if I did. All right. So I wrapped this around twice and the cool thing about this die cut is that these twine pieces fit just perfect in these little notches on the scalloped end. And I'm gonna tie this in a bow, but I only have two fingers here. Well, I have more than two fingers, but only have two hands. So I'm tying it in a knot first. Remember that tip, you guys. I like to tie these thin twines and bows in a knot first to hold it in place so that I don't have to call on John to come up here and lend me a finger to hold my knot down while I'm tying my bows. He loves me and he's supportive, but he doesn't want to hold my bows down all the time. He's not that kind of husband. So, I know Kim, the embellishments are so pretty. They are going like hotcakes. So when you want something, you gotta grab it. The other thing I should give you all a heads up on is that, um, listen, the new catalog, the big one's coming out like a month early. And when that happens, a whole bunch of stuff retires, including the in colors. So if you haven't stacked up on your re-inkers right now, you should start because you're going to miss out if you don't, and they're going to be sold out like hotcakes. <sighs> okay. I am going to stamp on this little, actually before I stamp, I'm gonna punch. I've got this little scrap of petal pink and this is um, an inch and a quarter wide and two and a half inches long. I got my triple banner punch and I'm just gonna stick this in here. Um, and I'm just looking here to make sure that this is centered. and turn this into a banner. Ooh, Melanie also loves the pink. Yes, the pink. So in that snail mail twine combo pack, you also get the pink. I could have used the pink and wrapped that around here because we're gonna do some pink on a card, but I didn't. 
Okay, so we turned this into a little banner. And I need my petal pink ink. Here we go. <clears throat> so the sentiment I'm going to stamp here says, may the new life of spring bring you joy. Isn't that cute? I like that saying. And I love this font. I love the font for the, like the cursive words. Okay, and I'm just going to line this up and stamp. And well, I don't know if I like that, so we're going to try it again. That's why paper has two sides. Oh, there we go. Much better. All right. Now let's set this aside. And should we finish our stamping for the inside? Yeah, let's do that. All right. I'm going to grab the sentiment that says welcome spring. And I've got our petal pink I need and my so saffron still. So we're going to take this bossy little baby chick. He looks so cute. We're going to going to stamp him over here in the bottom right hand corner. Like so. And then I'm going to grab my petal pink. Thanks for sharing, Kim. So appreciate that. Oh, Sharon's poodle is the boss with the big dogs around. So it's funny you say that because my Barbie acts like a boss, but Baxter is the real boss that all the dogs are afraid of. And he's my black cat and he's got quite the attitude. And it's so funny to see the dogs like run away from him. I really hope this is straight. Oh yes, I did that awesome. I should play the lottery tonight when I'm done because that never happens to get it that straight. Okay, I got all my stamping done here. Now we are gonna start putting our card together. So, let me everywhere. And my favorite stamp and seal. I can see that I'm getting close to the end of a roll. I hope it lasts me tonight. Are we ready to hear some angels singing? This stuff is so smooth and so amazing. I love it. Kim, oh, how is the hubby? You know what, Kim? He is doing awesome. He is such a fast healer. I am jealous. Um, he grilled out tonight. He is the best griller in the world. Oh, my goodness. And he grilled us out brats and um, steak sandwiches and we made so much extra so we can kind of have it for leftovers this week it was so good we got these chicken cordon bleu brats from a local meat market here and they are just absolutely amazing so here's the inside of our card the little baby chick says a welcome spring I know, Robin, I hope I don't run out of snail either because that would be like a crisis. I should show you something funny. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with adhesive anytime soon. This is my stash of adhesive that I have. So I hope I am set for a while. I like to stock up when like their celebration, I like to stock up. Good time. All right, so now we got this pretty um, pink toned, I think it's petal pink, yep, from the Peony Garden. <laughs> I know, Robin, I never want to be without my seal again, so I made sure. 
but I had a big stash of CO ready to go. Okay, and now get some dimensionals here and I'm gonna pop up this layer. You know, these dimensionals came in my paper pumpkin box. So I usually, um, I save the extras. I don't always make all the cards right away. And so I grab those dimensionals and um, I usually like to make other projects with what comes in there. Um, and those dimensionals last me forever. All right. Now we don't have to be perfect about how we put this baby chick layer on here. I'm actually not centering this on purpose because I don't want someone to look at that and be like, oh, it's not centered. So on purpose, I made it closer to this side. And now we're gonna grab our bone folder. <laughs> you know what's funny, Melanie? These brats are not chicken brats. They are um, regular brats, but they have some chicken in them and they're chicken cordon bleu. So they also have some ham in them, I believe, and some Swiss cheese in them. And they, oh, they're so good. They are so delicious. All right, I am taking my bone folder and I am turning this little flag into a banner like it's flapping in the wind and curling these edges. So that's a little trick. And then take a couple of these dimensionals on the top. <laughs> hey, Margaret, how are you doing? Oh, Cindy loves Peony Garden too. Kim, we used to get brat burgers from our local. Yes, we love brat burgers. We actually usually have brat patties made out of um, our venison when we go hunting and they are delicious. That adorable baby chick. We've got that banner flying in the wind here. Um, there is a little bit of a shadow. So let me see if I can zoom in on this quick. Isn't that cute? And then we've got the inside. Welcome spring. And we gotta bling it up. And I thought that these opal rounds would be perfect because they're so springy. Grab my take your pick tool. I really like this picker end here with the picker stuff. I have no idea what it's really called. The gooey stuff that's on there. It's perfect for picking up sentiments or sentiments, embellishments. Um, I'm gonna put one on the flag. Isn't that cute? That's a really simple card, you guys, but so adorable. Do not think that simple cards are not gonna be cute. They're cute, they're awesome, they come together quickly, and your friends will think this card is adorable. And look at the inside, that little baby chick, closing his eyes and having a little attitude, I love it. So there's our first card of the night, what do you think? Are we loving it? I'm gonna get my stamps cleaned up so we can make our next card. I love this chamois. It's a little juicy right now though. I just cleaned it out and I didn't wring it out as much as I normally do because I have to take it downstairs to wring it out. And I wanted it to last longer so I didn't have to go downstairs again to do it and I left it just a little bit juicy. You'll have that sometimes, right? Thanks, Marsha. Thanks, Kim. Glad you like my card. Are we ready for our fun fold? 
I saw that lots of you were excited for the fun fold. And um, I think you're really going to like this one. <clears throat> we're actually making a modified gate fold card. So for those of you who know what a gate fold is, that's what we're going to be making. Uh, but I'm changing it up a little bit and adding another element of fun fold to it. So now, getting all my pieces ready. I have already die cut some of these pieces because I wasn't sure how long this card is going to take us. And I didn't want us to be on here till like 10 o'clock tonight because it's the bachelor night and it's the finale. and. I didn't want to miss it. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. I got the idea for this card because I was looking for some ideas to make with this and I have all these pieces, these random pieces of designer series paper kind of floating around here. And even some of these little squares, we're going to use some of these little squares that you always get when you snip off the ends of your cards. So um, I wanted to make sure that I use kind of as many, like we're going to use this piece on this card. I had a strip of petal pink, we're going to use this. We're going to use this little strip here. We're going to use this to do some die cutting. These are all just kind of random strips. Now, these I did cut down to a specific size, but seriously, they started out strips like this, and I just cut them down to the size that I needed. And this was another piece kind of randomly floating around in there. And then this is a normal card layer size, okay? So, Oh, you know what? I didn't die cut any of these for you. I guess I lied. I thought that I did. Not as prepared as I thought. Okay, so we've got a uh, smoky slate. This is going to be our card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And we are going to do some scoring on this. So let me bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to move my cutting blade way up to the top so I'm not even tempted to cut this piece. I have, I'm getting my water here. I got a little cotton off. Hang on. All right. So I'm going to score this from each end. So I'm going to put it in my paper trimmer like so that the long edge is on the bottom. And I'm going to score this at two and an eighth. And then I'm going to flip it around the other way. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to score it at two and an eighth. So we've got a card with two score lines on the end like that, okay? Are you with me so far? All right, now we're gonna take our bone folder and we're gonna fold these in. Oh my gosh, I have a little bit of allergies with the seasons changing here, okay? So our card, I'm giving away some of the surprise, is going to open like this, right? Have a good night, Joanne. Thanks for watching while you could. <laughs> All right, now, I've got here some strips. These are the strips that I cut from other kind of random pieces in my stash. And these are going to go on the inside, the petal pink ones, and the smoky slate are going to go on the outside. So these are two inches by five and three eighths inches. And we're going to glue those down right here on the front of our card. So you can see you don't need 
very big pieces of your designer series paper for this. Um, so it's a really good way to kind of dress up your card with those pieces that you have on hand and not have to cut up like a big 12 by 12 inch piece. And then I'm going to glue this down on the other side the same way. Uh-oh, I feel the end of the seal coming, Robin. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. Now, just a little tip, you guys. When I center these up, what I'm doing is I line up like three sides and then that fourth side is just the same because I line up the, the side, the top and the other side and then the bottom is usually perfect, ready to go. Okay, so now we've got a dressed up card front using our pretty designer series paper, like so. And now on our inside piece, I've got this piece that looks like um, granite. The other side is beautiful flowers. Again, this all comes from the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. And this piece, I gotta look at my measurements. It's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So we're just an eighth of an inch shorter than our normal card front layer. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And this piece is just an eighth of an inch smaller on each side. Okay, so I am centering up those three sides. And gluing that down. Melanie, I think you're my other bachelor watcher tonight. Are you excited for the finale? I think the finale is tonight because last week was the women tell all. Or is it next week? I can't remember if tonight's the finale or if tonight is like the one-on-ones and the finale is next week, I don't remember. So it might not be the finale tonight. I might have misspoke. And these are exactly the same as the smoky slate that we glued on the front. Now we're gluing these on the inside. with just that little bit of border peeking out. So again, these are two inches by five and three eighths. Oops, I already glued this, but I didn't do the center. Center it up here, like so. <clears throat> okay, so now we've covered a lot of our um, surface area with our designer series paper. Isn't that beautiful? And it's opening and closing really nicely. So everything's going well so far. Now this is a normal gatefold card and you can put a belly band on there and we are going to put a belly band on this card. So let's take a minute and let's do that next. So let me grab my uh, Tasteful Labels dies, and I'm going to use this big one here. It's got the stitching all around it. Set this aside. Set this aside. I'm going to grab my Baby Boss. Oops, I put my plates away. Get this cute little guy going. And run this through. Oops. Die cut. I love this little thing. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. Um, oh, and I also need. This little circle, I should have cut them at the same time, but I wasn't thinking. 
So I'll set that aside. All right. I gotta have the handle facing me. <laughs> okay. So now we've got our little tiny circle here. And then uh, this is too big, so let me cut it down again here. I didn't even think about the size of my scrap. I just kind of grabbed one. And now from our um, stitch so sweetly, I'm gonna grab the second largest triangle or triangle square here. And I'm gonna die cut that. So you see here we got one, it's not wanting to go through because my plate's a little warped. So I'm just gonna flip that over and offset it just a little bit and give it a little push and away it goes. These things are so smooth and easy. Um, Kim's asking, what is the label die? Okay, I think you mean these, Kim. These are called tasteful label dies. So um, these are these this like little banner. And actually, I need to die cut one more piece. I put my baby boss away. Um, <clears throat> these have like a kind of beveled edge, and then some of these have a stitched edge. So um, I love that about these. Okay, and I forgot, I need to cut a piece. Let me just cut off this little end here. I'm gonna use this little um, kind of banner thing here, and I'm gonna die cut that too. So let me get this back out. Go. Okay, perfect. You are welcome, Kim. Um, these are like my favorite. I had my eye on them for a while, and every time I placed an order, I kept forgetting. Hence, a wish list, you guys. A wish list is a great idea so you don't forget to order, and then you pay less shipping because you don't forget to order and have to place another one. <laughs> I kept forgetting to add it to my order, and I finally got these, and I'm like, I'm going to use these on every card I make because I love them so much. <laughs> you know, I else feel like that sometimes? Oh, my goodness. All right, all that die cutting was a workout. So I burned my calories for the day. And we've got a few pieces die cut out. So um, I have to look at my design card because I forgot for a minute what I was going to do here. Okay. Now I remember. We're going to do some stamping here, stamping here, and stamping here. So let's grab our stamps. I need May the New Life of Spring Bring You Joy. Melt that here. And I'm gonna grab my smoky slate. Yes, they have been used a lot. They're very popular. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this here in the center, I hope, of our die cut piece. Pretty good, not perfect, but good enough. Like my husband says, good enough for the girls I go out with. And it makes me laugh all the time. All right, I'm gonna grab my petal pink. That's the color that coordinates 
um, with these flowers on the inside. And in here, you might have missed it. There's this cute little butterfly. So I'm going to grab that butterfly, mount it on my little baby block here, and stamp this right here above our sentiment. And then on our little circle piece, I'm going to stamp that butterfly there too, just like so. <clears throat> okay, now on our label here, I'm going to grab the saying that says, Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. And I put my smoky slate away and I shouldn't have. I'm going to stamp that in Smoky Slate. There we go. And then we also use this one. Let me clean this one off really quick here because I'm going to need this black. That's why I love the chamois. It's so darn quick to clean these off. We've also got these little flowers in here. I've got a little tulip and this other flower that I have no idea what it's called. But it's like how I draw flowers if I were to draw them with my niece. This one, if anyone knows what kind of flower that is. <laughs> the other one I know for sure is a tulip. Okay, and I am going to stamp our tulip here. And our other little, I don't know what kind of flower over here. Isn't that cute? Those flowers are just enough to dress it up, if you ask me. Okay, now, let me move my ink out of the way here. We are going to start putting our card together. So, first things first. I have got this piece of designer series paper, and this is three inches wide and it's nine and a half inches tall. And we're going to fold this in half the tall way, like this, okay? And grab this layer, my stitched so sweetly layer. And this is gonna go on the inside. What are you thinking of this so far? It's probably kind of a mess. You're gonna see how this comes together really fast. Uh, oh, first, before I do this, I am gonna grab this strip and I am not measuring anything. I'm just gonna cut a couple of these pieces and I want to pay attention to where I want to put these. So this one's going to go up here. Glue this down. Like this. And then 
this one I'm going to glue down at the bottom like so. I'm not worried where they are, I'm just placing them. Okay, so now we've got our layer. Okay, and this looks like washi tape peeking out behind there, doesn't it? Isn't that cute? Just a couple strips we stuck up behind our layer. Okay, now, remember I have this random square, well, I guess it's technically a rectangle, floating around in my designer series paper. Oops. I'm going to glue this down on the front of this. And then I have got this gray, I think it's basic gray twine, whoops. And this is from the well-suited twine combo pack. It comes with the Knight of Navy and the basic gray. And I'm gonna take that gray and I'm gonna wrap it around here as if it was a card front. Wrap it around twice. And then I'm gonna snip the end and we'll tie this in a bow. Okay, and remember, what's my trick when it's thin? Just tie it in a knot first so I don't have to call John up here to hold my knot down with his fingers. All right. Okay, so that's all tied, and then I like to tug my ends and get it the right size that I want. If you need, you can tug and tighten it back up. No big deal. And then I'm going to trim my ends like so. You guys got quiet on me. I hope I didn't lose you. My goodness. All right. So. We've got our little butterfly here. And so I am going to pop this up on dimensional, one right in the center. And put this right here on the front of this layer and straighten out this twine. So what we've got here is a little mini card. And now I'm going to open this up and we're going to glue the back side of this and center this up and we're going to put it right in the middle of our inside of our card like this. All right, so we are going to open our card like this and open it up like this. What are we thinking so far, yeah? We are paying attention. We don't want to miss anything. Oh, you cracked me up. All right, now we need to keep this closed because we got quite a few layers going on here. So now comes in our belly band. This is just one inch long by 11 inch, one inch wide by 11 inches long. And I'm not gonna do any scoring. I'm not gonna do any fancy cutting. I'm just going to kind of line this up and center it as best I can like this, whoops. And I'm going to grab it and fold this over. 
and grab this end and fold it over. Now I wanna be careful that this isn't too tight. So before I glue it down, I wanna make sure that this is going to be able to slide. And this seems to be okay. So now I'm gonna grab my glue, glue this here, and glue this down. Now this isn't like perfect, perfect, but that's okay because this is going to cover it up. See, no one's going to see this. It's going to be covered up. But we've got this extra little piece here that I cut too. And so I am just going to take my scissors and cut that in half. And then I'm going to come to the edge of my dimensionals. I know you can't even believe that I'm choosing to use the edge on purpose. And with the pink side up, I'm putting the dimensional on the pink side of this designer series paper. And I'm gonna come in here on the other edge of my dimensionals. I can't even believe I'm doing this. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing with this other half. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is flip this over and I'm gonna tuck these behind and center them. Try to straighten them out a little bit here. Just like this. And then I'm gonna do the same with the bottom piece and try and there we go. So it looks like I have one continuous piece here, but I don't. And I've even left enough room Good thing I like to save my edges. You're right, Robin, good thing. That's what I'm gonna say. I like to save my edges. Instead of saying I don't like to use my edges, I think I'm gonna put a positive spin on that and say I like to save my edges. I like how you um, turned that around for me, Robin. <clears throat> All right. Now we even left enough room for our dimensional in the middle. So all this is gonna be the same height. And I am going to put this on my belly band. And I'm doing this so that I line up these arrows in the center of that gatefold, like so. And we gotta bling it up because we just can't unless there's bling. Oh, and you know what else I think I want to do? Where's my Stella? I'm gonna Stella the flowers. I don't know what flower this is, but it's getting stella Pretty. Okay. So... I'm using my opal rounds again because these are nice springy kind of eastery colors. Put two down here and I'll put one up here. Oops, and I forgot to put these away. That's okay, I'll do that later. All right. Are we ready for the full effect for this card? I'm gonna move some of my stuff here so we can see this. Okay, are we ready? Check this out, you guys. We've got our belly band. It's loose enough that we can slide it off. And then we open our card and we open our little mini card on the inside. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, this looks so fancy and seriously, it's just a whole bunch of layered paper. Someone is gonna get this card and be like, 
Wow, she fancy, right? And listen, we just used up all the pieces that we had sitting in our DSP stash. Like they don't need to know that. So there you have it. There is our fun fold. Here's our little bossy baby chick. Those are our two cards for the night. What do you think? Do you love them? I love them. And I think your friends are going to love them too when you make them and send them. I hope you enjoyed my live tonight. I so appreciate you watching me. Um, if you need supplies, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, you can shop my online store at www.rosegrunel.com. There's some shopping links in there. Check out my classes to go while you're there too. Those are super fun. I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. So thank you ladies for letting me know that you love them. If your order is under 150 bucks, use the host code ADVD3TYA. Um, when you use that host code, that's what helps me get you prizes and buy the supplies I need to make your card kit prizes and whatnot. But if your order is over 150 bucks, skip the code. And actually, if it's more than 150, we should chat because you should be getting your stuff at a discount and I can talk to you about how you can do that. When you place an order with me, you are invited to my VIP group where I give away lots of prizes and we have fun creative challenges and it is a blast. So if you are watching the replay of this and turn off this light, if you're watching the replay of this, please take a minute and subscribe to my YouTube channels. You have all of my videos in one handy place. And I hope that you will join me again next Monday, same place, same time. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on my Facebook page, Country Cards by Rose. I hope that you all have a wonderful evening. Thanks again for joining me, and I will be stamping with you soon. I'll see you all later.